Hello, today I'll be showing you how to add an external antenna to an ESP32 CAM board. This helps with interference from vibe trackers and other devices that might cause issues. There are two ways to do this. You can use a hot air station to adjust the resistor, or you can use a soldering iron to knock off the resistor and breach the pads with solder. I'll be starting off with the hot air gun. To use this method, you'll need a hot air gun that can hit around 450 degrees, a pair of fine tipped tweezers, and if possible, some extra solder paste. First, heat up the resistor and hold it with some tweezers. Once the solder has melted, pull off the resistor. If you have solder paste, add some to the pads now. Then, pick up the resistor with your tweezers and hold it on the correct pads. Then, heat it. Once the solder has melted and the resistor is in place, remove the heat and hold it until it cools. Once the board has cooled, you can let go of the resistor and you should be done. Now you'll want to check any of your pads for shorts or connections that weren't made during the process. It looks like we're good, so now I'll show you how to do this with a soldering iron. You'll need a soldering iron with a fine tip and some solder. First, set your iron's temperature to something pretty high. Here I used 470 degrees. This helps melt the solder on each side of the resistor without burning anything due to long contact time. Hold the soldering iron on the resistor for a few seconds and try wiping it off. If it does not come off, try upping the temperature and cleaning your tip. Now, lower the temp of your iron close to the melting point of your solder. Here I have my iron set to 195 degrees with my solder melting temp of 183. Apply some solder and wipe your iron in the direction of the other pad and away from the board. It may take a few tries to get it right. If you are having issues, lower the temp or try using lower flux content solder. Once you think you have bridged the connections, look carefully for stray solder bridging something that it shouldn't. If it looks good, you're done. Congratulations, you've now adjusted the ESP board for use with an external antenna. Now just attach the antenna by pushing down the connector onto the one on the board, and voila! If this video helped you, it would be great if you could leave a like or even subscribe for future videos. Have a great one!